Hey guys, this is Pinkle, and today I'm gonna be talking about a dude named Neox. Now, nobody on Twitter likes this guy. Like, I've literally seen so many posts of this dude Neox of people just freaking going in on this kid. Like, that's why I'm bringing it up to making this video. You know, people have been labeling him as the most scummiest Roblox YouTuber, you know, on YouTube. So, you know, I'm gonna just put him the same label because I don't respect anybody who sends false copyright strikes. And if you try to send a false copyright strike, bro, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you, bro. Because I literally I know somebody who works for YouTube, and they for some reason they mess with me. I don't know why they like my channel, but yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'm not trying to scare you. I did have some YouTube context but anyways basically what this kid does I'm actually gonna go to his channel real quick so you guys can see as you guys can see right here this dude's verified he has a verified channel because I think he had, you know he hit 100,000 subscribers and he does have a play button but apparently his play button doesn't even have his YouTube name on it which is weird so as you guys can see he can just he, he basically makes like promo code videos he used to make clickbait videos I I mean this is basically a clickbait I mean I don't even know if you can label this as a clickbait video it's just him talking about you know Creekcraft and how because Creekcraft basically he paid for a shout like what I did you guys see I made the um Creek set subscribe to pin Roblox he basically Asked for the same thing, and then people expose Creekcraft for you know promoting a scammer YouTuber. Then Creekcraft stopped doing shoutouts. Like he's still doing you know cameos, but he just stopped doing shoutouts. So ba that basically ruined the fun for other Roblox YouTubers. And as you guys can see here, he used to just make code videos, which I really don't like. He used to make you know Roblox live streams where he's promoting you know giving away free Robux, which, which I never liked. Cause back in the day when I used to stream like you know a few months ago, I never really advertised I had free Robux. I just made the stream. Cause people who like have said that they had free Robux and like you know made a stream saying they had free Robux, they usually have more viewers and i wasn't gonna sell out trying to get more viewers by buying Rob like robux codes i wasn't gonna do that i want to gain you know what i'm saying viewership you know organically also for the people who saying that my channel is dead bro look at this dude's channel bro all this dude does is make freaking promo code videos at least i tried it with my videos you know it doesn't it's not that hard to just gather like the most latest promo codes and put them in the video like that doesn't require that it probably takes like a good 30 minutes to make that video like i could respect somebody like shark blocks because he actually puts effort in his videos because he makes you know wait many other videos other than promo code videos like shark blocks is definitely the guy you should watch for if you do like want promo codes you know subscribe to him because he makes other good content youtubers like this guy just basically main he, he basically mains um promo code videos and he does like other stuff like a bunch of roblox he basically does everything that a roblox youtuber shouldn't be which is you know only uh, only robux giveaway you know person and the only freaking sent like freaking um uh, older youtuber because that's what he's basically doing he's basically being an older youtuber with these centicon freaking videos and i was thinking about being a youtuber like that at some point but then i realized that most of the youtubers who did that kind of fell off so you know, obviously i don't want to join that train of falling off with the with the older videos the only person i know right now who still makes older videos is project supreme and like some other people i know that one buddy guy fell off too but um yeah basically this guy is the scum of earth labeled as people in the roblox community and um basically i'm gonna show you guys something so if you look up Neox on YouTube, you're just gonna see you're just gonna see every single bad thing that this kid has done. So basically, Chisel made a tweet saying Neox has gone too far. He made a video trying to make Creekcraft look like a victim. He even faked his screenshot in his video. SMH, he's an actual clown. You guys have seen this video. <laughs> he actually inspected Element Creekcraft's video uh, tweet by saying "shame that ugly black kid," which he never said because you know why would he say that? If if Creekcraft actually said that, he's just asking to get like. You know what I'm saying, Rosie, like, <laughs> no, no freaking random, no big popular person like Creekcraft is just gonna, you know, just point out a race. You know, he's not gonna do that. She's also said the entire video is filled with lies and a fake tweet screenshots trying to show how, try, trying to make it seem like Creekcraft is racist and abused him. Actually crazy how bad of a YouTuber he is and like, man, I don't know, man. Honestly, this guy is basically a troll. I mean, that's what he basically is. He's a troll. You know, it's funny getting like even Loop Q said saying, I don't know if I'm gonna make a video. I wouldn't be scared to make a video on this because this dude he literally says in messages that he send he sends fake like he literally says, Yo, I sent a fake copyright strike. You know how much like bro, you literally just threw yourself there. Like you could you could literally get in legal trouble for that and maybe get your freaking YouTube account terminated for literally saying that you're sending false copyright strikes. Like, are you dumb? Like bro, Neox, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro, I'ma just you know, I never like being mean to people. Bro, you need to um figure out a new way to like threatening people if they make videos on you you saying that they're gonna send a false copyright strike is basically just putting you at wrong already like you should at least say i'm gonna send you a copyright strike not a false one who would admit to sending a false copyright strike and a lot of other people on youtube like you know this dude um male is pretty smart he said people don't realize neos is just another internet troll he doesn't actually believe what he is saying and he's just doing it for a reaction which all of you guys are giving him like you got like this like what this dude said like you guys are literally giving him a reaction you guys are literally giving him what he wants which is attention a whole bunch of views because you guys can see he's getting a lot of views from these videos like look at this twenty one thousand 
thousand freaking uh, views and seven thousand views. I actually, wanna, I'm not gonna watch this video because then he'll actually have a reason to give me a copyright strike. So I'm not gonna watch any of his videos. But like, look at this thumbnail, bro. What is this? Hey, on Neox, bro. What is this, bro? Like, why? What, 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 what were you thinking when you made this thumbnail? I don't think I could ever take myself serious posing like that for a thumbnail. Like that, I just, he just looks stupid. <laughs> just I'm not even gonna cap. He just looks stupid. Also, people were exposing him a long time ago. Like this guy, um, Cludy. He said Neox is officially verified on YouTube, meaning that more Roblox YouTubers can fall for his scams and free Robux videos and loops and loops streams and yeah this is just a lot this is just so many people exposing this dude neox bro it's like not even funny anymore but like i said i don't really want to go too deep with the situation this guy's already dug himself a big hole you know with youtube like he's definitely gonna get kicked off the platform anytime soon even this tweet right here by uh caleb ryan i think that's one of like the small youtubers with his uh, mom he was like right this is literally a screenshot where he said i'm gonna literally send a i submitted a false copyright strike on your name i repeat your channel in a couple days that's the most dumbest thing i've ever said in my like that's the most dumbest thing i've ever seen in my entire life like man neox bro if you're watching this video this will be probably the last message i say in this video because this really isn't an exposing video this is just me clowning this guy but like listen neox because i'm pretty sure you'll watch every single video that's made on you dude you need to figure out a better way to scam people because like i think being in the robots community and like moving around as a scammer is kind of a bad idea because you're gonna get exposed either way like if you just stayed at the community and kept on making your code videos you would probably gotten rich bro like not even gonna cap but now like if your channel gets freaking terminated for you know sending false copyright strikes then you have to start all over and you know who wants to start all over like i don't want if i had to if i had to start all over this channel i'd probably be like i don't know if i would be able to do that hey yo shout out to scrimzox for freaking starting over because that's just i don't know how you could do that but anyways guys hope you guys enjoyed this video it's been pinnacle don't be this guy neox man don't be this dumb please <laughs> and i am out peace